confirm with museum tours, a parade, and horseshoe competitions. A lot happening. Angel Cardenas is out live with more on the annual farm and tractor days in Rio Linda. Are you getting on that thing behind you, Angel? Hey, everything. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> okay. yeah, this is a, yeah. We'll tell you about this bad boy in a second. Everything you want to do on the farm for a fun event right here in Rio Linda, the 25th annual Rio Linda Farm Days. But uh, you guys, there's a you know, horseshoe competition, you have a petting zoo, you have food, you have vendors, everything in Rio Linda right here. But these tractors are the, definitely the highlight of the event. We're going to talk to my buddy Roger Lubins here. Roger, some of these tractors are almost 80 years old and play a part in California's agriculture history. Yes, that's true because these tractors brought us food and fiber back in the 40s and 50s when they were, they were used out on family farms. Hey, you guys, a little fun fact. You're playing that song in the background, what's it called, My Tractor is Sexy or something like that? Uh, our friend Roger actually has that tattooed on his chest, My Tractor is Sexy. We're not going to show that this segment, maybe next week. But uh, let's go talk about the tractors here. Wh which one do we want to start with, Roger? We'll start with this big one here. Okay, this big one right here. Tell us about this thing. This, this tractor was made uh, around 1942 and it was the largest tractor made by International Harvester. 1942? Indeed. And so very popular after the men came home from World War II. They all wanted this, this big boy. Um, a farm all M tractor with uh, nearly 40 horsepower. And this thing operates on propane. Look at the propane tank. Now, this one, safe, if you can show them here, this one operated off a can of Coca Cola, right? You just put some Coca Cola and it starts up? <laughs> I guess so, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Okay, now we do have the old John Deere. Uh, not. Not too old. Not too old, okay, but okay, uh, okay. fairly old. Uh, nearly the same vintage, probably in the 1960s. Uh, excuse me, 1950s and yeah. 60s when that was plowing down the field. And this is a good sized tractor. Um, Let's show them, say, what it looks like after they restore. This is, a, this is a 1949. Correct. And so International Harvester made uh, these smaller tractors, the Cub and the A. And uh, what was unique about them, they made so many of them. And you'd find them in strawberry fields in California and, and elsewhere, too. Be, uh, and the owners of these tractors have done a nice job on restoring them. So cool, so cool. Hey, guys, you can check out the event today. Starts at 9 a.m. There'll be a cool tractor parade you don't want to miss. And uh, you got to come out, hang out, and Rio Linda. And there's also some cool go-karts that American River College has made. So you want to come out and check those out, too. Back to you! All right. We got to get Angel a cowboy Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Growing up with autism can be...